Hello, friends, and welcome to a new story. Thankful for you. On a November afternoon, Cannoli and his owner Cammy were out for their daily walk. The air was brisk, and the wind blew leaves along the street. The weather was just right for playing in his yard and taking a walk. It also meant his favorite holiday, Thanksgiving, would be soon. Cannoli loved Thanksgiving. Cammy would sneak him extra treats during dinner: turkey stuffing and mashed potatoes. Family and friends filled the house with food and delicious smells. Drifting off to sleep that night. Cannoli dreamed of all the wonders Thanksgiving would bring. The next morning, on their walk, Cammy and Cannoli passed by the shops in the town. All the windows were filled with holiday decorations. Cammy said, "Christmas keeps coming earlier and earlier each year. It seems like Thanksgiving doesn't exist anymore." Oh no, Cannoli thought, "Is Thanksgiving canceled?" The next day, they headed to the dog park. <laughs> Cannoli's friends, Mac and Mr. Oinks, were waiting for him. They looked worried. Something is wrong," whimpered Mr. Oinks. "My owner said, 'Who needs Thanksgiving when Christmas is on its way? I think she's going to cancel Thanksgiving.'" My owner said the same thing," barked Mac. "She's already hung Christmas lights in our yard." Cannoli could not believe what his friends were saying. Why would they cancel our favorite holiday? He asked. Well, I chewed up my owner's slippers yesterday," <gasps> roughed Mr. Oinks. "I barked at a little girl who lives next door. She kept running through my yard," said Mac. "I rolled in mud puddle." Cammy said, "I look like a zebra instead of a dog." Added Cannoli. The dogs thought they could try a little harder to show the owners how thankful they were. Thanksgiving is not just about food, Cannoli said. It is time to show people how much you love and appreciate them. We have to show our owners how thankful we are for them. Barked Mr. Oinks. Yes, then they will remember how much they love us. Roughed Mac. And they won't cancel Thanksgiving," yelled Cannoli. Cannoli headed home from the dog park, thinking of ways he can show Cammy how thankful he was. He would be on his best behavior, and Thanksgiving would be saved. The next day, Cannoli played in his yard and did not get dirty. It was really hard to stay clean, but he knew he can do it. When Cammy let him in the house. He was still white and fluffy. You are the best boy, Cannoli. Thank you for not getting mucky," said Cammy. While they were on their walk, Cannoli usually pulled on the leash so he can sniff the mailbox. But not today. He walked nicely on his leash. What a good boy! Cammy beamed at him. For the next few days, he was on his best behavior. No barking at the neighbors. No chasing birds. He even stopped eating out of the trash can. It was exhausting. He had to show Cammy how thankful he was for her. Are you okay, Cannoli? Cammy asked. You haven't gotten dirty or sniffed the mailboxes or eaten from the trash can. I'm worried about you. I know those things drive me crazy, but I love you just the way you are. Cannoli thought about this. She loves me just the way I am. Cammy is thankful for me. Maybe Thanksgiving isn't canceled after all. Finally, it was the fourth Thursday in November. Cannoli paced back and forth in the living room. He could smell something delicious cooking. He ran into the kitchen. Cammy was making Thanksgiving food. His favorite holiday was saved. Soon after, the doorbell rang. It was Mac, Mr. Oinks, and their owners. They had come for Thanksgiving dinner. I really tried to be a good boy," said.
said Mr. Oinks. Me too, <gasps> roughed Mac. They are thankful for us, just the way we are, <gasps> barked Cannoli. After eating their special feast, Cannoli and Cammy curled up on the couch with full bellies. I love you, Cannoli. You are my best boy, gushed Cammy. Cannoli gave her a big kiss and knew that he had lots to be thankful for.